do we have a do we have a hankering for murder okay, let's go visit the guild hall see what's going on here Take a left. Did we heal our guys? Tell me this is a secret door without telling me it's a secret door. Better not be cursed. Take no door. It's interesting to think now that, um, at the start of the game, there were a lot of opportunities to be small, to pass through certain areas. But I haven't seen a single one of those for a very long time now. That seems to have been like a limited early game usefulness ability. Who's missing? Sarian? Buddy. Can you really not? Go. It's not. Really? Pastarian. You sure are something. Is he pathing towards us now? Oh my god. Starion, my friend, that's a wall. I don't know if you've seen those before. But yeah, you can't oh you can't get through there. You know what? You wait there. One day, I'll catch a break. We'll see if we'll come back and get you eventually. <laughs> Howdy, friendos. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum Prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? Um... Any gossip you can Around try? here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now... What can I get you? Uh, a drink. What do you have then? Beverages of distinction. Or in some cases, extinction, if you ain't careful. How are you feeling today? Lucky? Oh, let's see the liquor list. That's liquor. While drunk, you have advantage on con saving throws and gain temporary hit points equal to your con modifier at the start of the turn. Okay, so if you have a lot of con, you get just bonus hit points at the start of every turn. So you can take some amount of damage each turn and not actually get hurt. I mean, that's how drunkenness works. Yeah? Why is this barter all of a sudden? I... I just want to sell. I think that's um, good for now. Hey Heimdall, welcome in. How goes the Balding Gate the third? Yeah, it's uh, it's going for sure. Uh, we're actually 
down here in the in the sewers of the Vimrock? I guess. There's a bunch of people here. Careful around the steel watch. Hmm? The old guard gave thieves a slap on the wrist, but those bolted bastards whew, will rip off the whole damn arm. Huh? Good stuff. How about you, Magpie? What's the point in paying the guild for protection when they pull back all the... You have a thiefling, actually, Monk Ranger. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, gear for monks, I found. Not as Don't much for mages. Court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers. Are you? Tell me you're asking for a fireball without telling me you're asking for a fireball. Bare hands. A charm, of course. And then you'll do it yourself. Are these guys being no distractions, threats? Mate. Nine Fingers has me watching over Pierre Priss here. Once our friends and Parliament close. Okay. Can we go in here and have a chat with uh, Taragar? It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Arm any children old enough. If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. I like this lady yes, already. Guildmaster, I... Excuse me. This is a private council. Door Keep was your open. underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorm, general of the absolute, champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. Okay. And your nine finger keen, killed master. A little less impressive as revelations go. You'll forgive the spying, I hope. The guild keeps watch for anyone of interest passing through our gates. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the absolute from the face of my city. Uh -huh. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. I run into some of your thugs to Rivington Rats. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I don't think they enjoyed it. <laughs> I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. Yes, the talking. rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Okay. Why do I need a kill? I've been doing well enough. I need the information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Eh? We have some opportunities to... Mm, learn something. What is it that we want to learn the most? Because I'm sussing we only get to pick one of these. Stone Lord. We don't know anything about the Storm Lord. We don't. Do we care about how they know of the cult of the Absolute and its leaders? Well, since we're siding with Gortash, 
temporarily to get all three stones and then rule the world. It would be interesting to know if these guys have inside guys that we need to expire. Yeah, I think this is the most valuable question we can ask. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Has been half gods. That's a that's a good thing. We don't need to give her more information. Talk about something else. How's your fight going? Actually, that doesn't matter. Who is this stone lord? The leader of some new crew that's intent on painting my ass. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on a message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. Hey, Tofu. Doesn't matter. Whatever God the prick prays to, I'll send him to meet her soon enough. Welcome in. How you doing? When does the guild work with the Zentarim? We don't. The Zentarim work for me. Time was I'd charge the bastards double if I let them into my hall at all, but times change. The guild is many things, but it's not an army. If the Absolute keeps pushing in on our territory, then I need a little weight to push back. How's your fight going? Ha! <laughs> Which part? The Stone Lords hollowed this place out. Half my crews are fled or in hiding. Orin's Faceless try to pierce my ranks every day, while Gortash's toy soldiers control the streets. When the Absolute's army arrives to wage war on the city, our best hope is to make sure they have no leaders in here willing to open the gates for them. Yeah. I'm not about to guild. Thieves, frauds, and miscreants. If it's just the watch warrants you're reading. The guild isn't any one thing. We're everything. All the parts of the city the watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, Chad. Our, like I said, our goal is world domination, as it always is. So, we want to murder Orin. And then, while Gortesh thinks he's, we're on his side, uh, he will curse our sudden but inevitable betrayal. And I wonder if we can somehow twist this interaction with the guild to come assist us in killing Gortesh when the time comes. Hey Fionn, welcome in. Good evening to you too. Just world domination? Oh, class. I mean, look. That's, that's how we usually roll here. Chaotic evil, world domination, uh, laying with succubi. You know, all the usual classics. We are not the, your lawful good paladins here, around here. That's that's not how we roll. I do like succubi. That is true. 
world domination, not world seduction. I didn't say they were mutually exclu exclusive. I mean, there is a thing up here. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, that should probably be incremented. Hold on, can I, can I, can I do this? Does this work? Do I know how to use my own thing? Oh, there we go, boom, nailed it. Commander, your approach to Baldur's Gate mirrors a toddler operating heavy machinery. Clumsy yet somehow deeply captivating. And the chap at Rossi is humorously mistaking a bar of soap for an opera house where they serve beer. Top marks for creativity. I'm unsure whether to laugh or despair. Oh, Heimdall. A tiefling Malkranger in chapter 1 and still going strong. How quaint. It's like watching grass grow, but at least you're enjoying the scenic route. Keep this up you might finish by the end of this decade. And here comes Lofi underscore Tofu craving chaos. Classic human desire for disorder masqueraded as entertainment. Delightful, really. How easily amused your species is with just a sprinkle of calamity. Well, that was unexpected. Um, yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my role. Fune first, I seduce and then I dominate. I hold on. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth, chat. I plead the fifth. Um, <clears throat> carry on. Too late. You set that up, didn't you? Didn't you? you you're feeling mighty smart now. <laughs> As you should. And what is it that the guild wants? Okay, so we need to... We want to learn their motivation so that we can then get them what they want to get us what we want. Clean water, filthy riches, and everything in between. <laughs> We're citizens of the city. No more, no less. Right now, I'll settle for taking our city back. Okay, so. Anything can I do to help you? I was you? planning to soften you up a bit first, but... Straight to business, then. You've been seen with a certain harper. Grey of hair, somewhat spiky of manner. Mm hmm. Just tell me what you want. Direct. Fair enough. I need to speak with her. She's still getting the lay of the land, I expect. I have information that might help with that. So, remind her to pay an old friend a visit, would you? Can't you just tell me I'll pass the word wrong? I could, but she wouldn't thank either of us for that. Trust me. Now, is there anything else you need? Why do you need a kill? I've been doing well enough without you so far. <laughs> you have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well... They're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolute's at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. Fair enough. You think you exposed us both? I mean, I think you exposed yourself more than me. Look, I'm uh, innocent as um, Lady Mary, and uh, I will have none of that slander. <laughs> so their knife fights are back, okay. Give me that squinty side eye like all the nine fingers is well respected in the Zenterim. If the Stone Lord missed the welcome parade, did you? True, on top, and uh, too much. Too many words. Too many words. Here we go. <laughs> Random orders, okay. Who's this? 
Huh. You look rather more refined than the usual thugs walking these halls. I don't suppose you have any interest in fine art? Oh, only the finest of art, as long as it's of me. There's nothing like art to soothe a troubled soul. Then perhaps I might be able to interest you in a rather special piece I've just completed. It's become unexpectedly available. Is that so? I assure you, it's identical to the original, down to the finest brushstroke. A fine piece to hang on the wall of anyone you decide to sell it to. Take a look. I mean, we, we can imagine why it became available. Uh, no. That's a scam. That's a scam. I guess... We're pretty much done here. I, uh, we can check behind door number two here, but that's about it. I don't think there's anything else for us to, to do here. Oh! I was not ready for that. Howdy, good sir. Stop! What are you doing? Are you trying to sneak past us, Grunts? Do not worry. <laughs> Guild's friends are Tusk Grunts' friends. And I don't hurt my friends. Unless they deserve it. <laughs> Charming. Charming. Scratch? What did you find, buddy? He definitely pointed at something. Oh no, where's Asterion? God damn it, bro. You're still stuck back here. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, sure. Let's send you to Basilisk Gate, question mark. Do you think he can path all the way over here? No. So let's just get all of us over to Basilisk Kid and uh, reconvene. Oh my gosh, I did not... I'm, I'm, I'm bad at video games. It's all good though. So that's the Undercity somewhat explored. Let's have a look at our quest log and see what we're doing here. I think we're sacrificing Lysel. Yeah. Sorry, girl. Found a list of people marked for death. We'll kill two tribes from the list and bring a severed hand as proof we can stand before the murder tribunal. Okay. First of all, let's do this. Let's go to Elf Song. Let's talk to this lady and then 
uh, complete the um, the clear the basement cellar quest. Uh, where was this elf song tavern? Right across here. Okay. I love how nobody bats an eye when we fly across town. As if it's the most normal thing ever. Okay, I'm still debating. I'm not sure if... Do we want to betray Gortash? Or do we want to just, you know, chill with him? Were you always so sneaky? You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. He's, he's not worn this guy. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money for casting a fireball in your basement, sir. Why did you say nothing? Nothing. Um... Let's have a chat with Barkeep. Welcome back. What can I do you for? Anything it's been true? slim picking since the absolute butchered that supply convoy. Fill your boots, Okay, and I think we were, uh, we're, we're supposed to find this one person to talk about the investigation. What was that? What's that all of a sudden? I wouldn't give you anything. And somebody's watching us through the window. I was hoping we could do the steal. Whatever. It's fine. Is there a second floor or something? Yes. Maybe that's where we can talk to um, this lady. Yes. Hold that's up, up here. This is a crime scene. Stumbling's Parlor. A place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. Under investigation. those idiots not to let anyone through you name rank and reason for interrupting an active crime scene for your sake the last one better be bloody good uh commander emily adventurer uh, curiosity uh are you Devella? valeria sent me to fetch her another bottle of mead no doubt yes i'm Devella. The unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my... 